Now, this is a video I've actually wanted to do for a while, and something I've seen you guys comment recently loads about, it's how many cameras is the uh, autopilot system actually using in version 9? Now, to be more specific, this is 2019.8.4, uh, and I've got the 2017 Model X with the AP2 hardware suite, uh, so it's got eight cameras, and on all of those eight cameras, I've actually blocked them. So the front three, we've got a narrow, a wide, and just like a, a normal view, and they all have different kind of uh, distances that they can see and report on. Uh, they're all covered up by two suction mounts, which should work pretty well. It looks a little bit crazy, I know, but it, it will work. The two side pillars, or the bead pillars, actually, are both covered up as well, which both face forward. And then there's two on the repeaters. So both the repeaters are also taped up, so they're all good to go. And then, of course, the one on the rear is also taped up. But I don't think that will have anything to do with autopilot. And in fact, you can actually see on this camera, if I go into my settings and drag the camera all the way up to the top, uh, if I can do that, there yeah, you can do that, there you go, look at that. So as you can see from uh, the GoPro that's above my head, uh, it is all taped up. And I'm wondering how many of these do we need on for autopilot to work? So currently on the dashboard, we're actually getting a warning that says blind spot detection limited, uh, camera visibility reduced. And I'm really intrigued to see like as we go on, we're going to take off a piece of tape each time and see how long does it take or how many cameras do we need before autopilot actually works. So let's hit the road and uh, yeah, start taking some tape off my cameras. It's, it's a weird video, but I'm I'm hella interested. I hope you guys are too. Don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below any other ideas you have, uh, and don't forget to enter the giveaway as well. All right, enough of that. Let's get driving. Now, I get it. A lot of you are going to be saying, oh, what does this actually prove? Like, what are you trying to show here? Well, the other day I actually came out, and this is what made me do this video today. I actually had a huge bird poo right up here on my cameras, and it was clearly covering some of the cameras, which meant autopilot might or may not have worked either completely or to its best ability. So the autopilot should obviously always only work to its best ability. If it's unsure, it shouldn't really work. And that's what we're going to find out. There's got to be an exact amount of cameras that we're using in version 9 to get autopilot to work. As you can see at the moment, there is absolutely no autopilot. Uh, there's nothing like that that's working at, at all. Uh, I don't even think actually my cruise is working. No, it doesn't look like my cruise is even working. So absolutely nothing is working at the moment. But that is kind of what we expected because every single camera is covered up. So we're coming out now into uh, this 60. I'm just going to speed up and see if anything else comes. No. Again, cruise not available. It says reduced front camera visibility. So I always thought that the front camera only uh, wasn't actually used for cruise. I thought cruise was done by radar. But as you can clearly see, it's not working for us at all. So what we're going to do is turn off and start taking off some of these cameras. Uh, I think what we'll do first is probably just take off like the rear. Yeah, because nothing's working and obviously the rear, uh, the rear isn't going to change anything. So let's pull over and take off the rear camera. As you can see, the rear camera is now completely clear, uh, but we're not getting anything else obviously showing up. We've got really nice lines. I'm gonna go up and down this road because it has really nice lines on both sides and autopilot normally, when it's obviously working, works really, really well on this. Uh, but as you can see again, it doesn't wanna do anything there. And if I do for cruise, it also won't even cruise. So nothing, the rear camera, as we kind of expected, does nothing towards autopilot. So it's gotta be to do with front forward uh, facing camera. So instead of taking the front cameras away straight away, uh, or taking, sorry, taking it off so that they work, I'm going to take the B pillars off, or actually no, I'm going to take the side repeaters off and see if for some miracle the side repeaters make it work. But again, I, I, don't, I can't see this making any difference. Oh shit. I've, I've turned off auto wipe, but I, I didn't even think about that because it's not wet weather. So clearly something that the GoPro's suction mounts are doing is making the car think that there's water up there. Oh, I'm really hoping that didn't do any damage. Now we've got the rear free and the two side rear facing repeaters free. If you're wondering what I'm covering them with, it's just a piece of uh, sticky white paper, but you definitely can't see through it or anything. Uh, so it's perfect for this kind of job. Okay, so again, we've only changed a side repeater that face backwards. So I don't assume that's gonna make any difference at all. But hey, I'm ready to be amazed. Blind spot detection limited, camera visibility reduced. Okay, I can't remember if that's what it said last time but uh, we're just gonna drive down. Yeah, nothing coming up. Nothing from a cruise standpoint either. Yeah, it doesn't wanna do anything like that. 
Nah, it, it's uh, it's not interesting in anything, is it? Let's pull over again and start playing with the forward-facing cameras. Let's start off by taking off these two side B pillars, which face forwards. Now this might get a little bit interesting here. So we have actually got forward vision now because our two B pillars are free, but are they enough for us to do autopilot? I'm not 100% sure, but let's just see. Again, it just says blind spot detection limited. It's horrible roads that I'm trying to just to kind of avoid a little bit. But as you can see, it is not responding to anything. It's not even seeing anything. Like it's not seeing lines. Yeah, it's not showing lines. It's really not showing anything. So it's quite clear from this that uh, the B pillars aren't the main ones, but they may, by the looks of it, be needed uh, for this to actually work. The furthest right camera should actually be available and it should be visible. So the car might be able to pick up some lines. But again, the, I think it's the wide angle one, but I'm not gonna keep on repeating that because I'm not 100% sure. If someone lets me know in the comment section, that'd be sick. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it's the wide angle one. And again, from that, we're not actually getting, yeah, we're getting no crews and we're getting no autopilot. So again, nothing is happening. And this is considering we've actually only got two cameras now covered up. We've only got the two uh, cameras in the, in the top there that are all covered up. So again, I think we need to pull over, move it and just allow one more camera free. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the suction mount all the way on the left and I'm gonna allow it to have the right two cameras free. And hopefully from that, we should start seeing some autopilot because definitely from uh, this way round, we're, we're, we're not getting anything done. I wonder if the car's gonna start letting us use autopilot yet. So now the only camera that is covered up is the left-hand side one up there. Every other, color, every other camera is uncovered and is completely visible. And we're starting to see some lines, but we're not getting, still cruise doesn't want to work, but we're, we've started to get some lines popping up. But again, it doesn't want to autopilot. And we're not seeming, oh, I hate this bit of road here. Yeah, we're not seeming to get anything. So again, I'm gonna pull over real quick. That is the final mount. That is every single camera on this car now, completely visible. And uh, that should hopefully <laughs> allow us to use autopilot. So obviously the sign is gone. And yeah, autopilot straight away is there and is gonna be hopefully working absolutely fine. Yeah, it, it seems to be fine. It's, it's obviously holding the road and everything. Uh, I'm gonna come back in here on the left because I wanna try one more thing. So. From that, what I've been able to tell is that autopilot will not work unless every single camera is completely free. Or at least that's what we've got from that little test there. And even things like cruise control and stuff will not work unless every camera's free. Or it's all about that left camera in that, in that array there. So let's quickly cover up the two right ones and see if it still works. Because if, if it does, it means that left camera is the most important camera in the sensor suite. Now the right two are covered and it's only that left one free. But as you can see, we've got that error message again. Auto steer temporarily unavailable, uh, camera visibility reduced. It's not liking it. So it means that it has to have all of the cameras up there working for autopilot to work. So I guess the final question we need to ask is, is it just these three or do we actually need the other cameras as well? I've now got covered up just the two B pillars that are facing forward and as you can see, autopilot works. And let's see how well it works, shall we? So we're just gonna do, we're gonna go slowly, we're gonna go 30 and just see if it makes any difference. So that, yeah, both pillars are completely covered up. You can't see, I'm just gonna double check. Yeah, they've still got the stuff on them. They're completely stuck and yet, it doesn't seem to be doing anything different. Now we did get at the beginning there a blind spot warning, which was quite interesting. And I assume that because that is your blind spot over there on the right hand side, that that's what it's covering up. But it seems to be fine. It seems nice and sturdy. And yeah, I mean, I would have no complaints about this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull in here and I'm just gonna take the right hand drive one off and see if that makes that uh, little blind spot detection limited camera thingy reduced go away. So I'm not even gonna get out of the car for this. I'm just gonna peel that off. There you go, I've peeled that off. 
and we're going to start now again it's saying blind spot because obviously uh, it, it it has got one of them completely covered up but from that we st still should yeah we still can do autopilot without a problem and it looks like as well that traffic aware cruise control will work fine pretty much everything will work fine then as long as those three cameras up there are completely visible otherwise it has a little bit of a panic and runs away. So we've tried all of those cameras separately to see if any of them are special. They're not, they all don't like being turned off. They all have to be on, otherwise it's not gonna have problems. So I'm just gonna drive a little bit down here and see if the uh, autopilot is any kind of different at all. We are getting an odd motion thing on the left because we're definitely not near anything. But I don't know if that's maybe just because the, the camera's covered, it's, it's sensing something, I'm not sure. But no, it seems solid. It seems fine actually driving down here. And yeah, no pro no problems at all. I'm uh, just gonna slow this down for here. So again, I don't think it, the right-hand camera wouldn't really need to be used for any of this bit. It would just obviously, uh, it would just help it and make it a little bit better. So there we go, everybody. The front three cameras are needed for autopilot and that is it. Every other camera is not actually needed for autopilot to work. Now, I don't know if when those cameras are covered up, you can do like uh, overtaking and stuff like that. So I don't know if it's gonna overtake for you and uh, maybe just do, in America, you obviously have on and off ramps. I don't know if it's gonna be able to do that unless you have all the cameras on together. But for the majority of it, <laughs> It seems like the other cameras aren't that important. Now the two side rear facing ones as well, I mean, they're not gonna help with autopilot except for overtaking potentially and, and changing lanes and stuff. So it makes sense that this is the only vision it needs. But don't forget, it's also got a radar and it's got ultrasonic sensors all around the car. So although it's still, it's losing some of the cameras on the side, it's still got all the things it needs to judge distance uh, and see cars ahead. Uh, but I have seen some people before could get actually autopilot to work with just one of the cameras up there. Whereas now that is just not a thing. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the like button down below, all that good stuff. Don't forget to enter the giveaway and I'll see you in the next video video. Drive safe.